Wow! What was that? Was that a wild transition? We gotta be careful right here, guys, or I might die. Transitions can be beautiful, but hard to tame. And if you can catch the best ones, your videos will look so much better. In fact, they will look 90% better. And that is scientifically proven. So I'd like to catch the big five today and open a zoo and attract thousands of people. And that's a metaphor, by the way, guys. I'm gonna show you the top five transitions that you have to know. Oh, that is a beautiful transition over there. And I see a weak point. We can flip it. So drag that lion into Premiere, which is actually just a sound clip. Just bear with me, guys. This is gonna be fun. Now look at the waveform and find the peak of the sound effect. Trim away everything before that. Now hold down Alt and duplicate the sound effect to the left. Press Ctrl plus R on your keyboard, and this will open up the speed and duration window. Check the reverse speed box and click OK. This will reverse the sound or flip it. Simply drag the audio clip to the right until it snaps against the other one. Now the swoosh transition will sound so much more powerful. All right, we tamed the lion, but guys, I think that there is an elephant in the room bouncing around like crazy. And it happens to be that that elephant is a transparent PNG, perfect for a transition. You can also use your logo or anything else, by the way. Now right click that PNG and select nest. And this will prevent issues with the next effect that we're going to use. Find the transform effect in the effects browser and throw it onto the image. Then head over to the effects controls and go to the beginning of the clip. Set a position keyframe and put the logo off screen. Move a little bit forward in time and bring it back to the middle of the frame. Easing in the last keyframe will make the animation smoother. Next, you need to animate the scale so that it zooms in and covers your screen. Then use the position property to make the logo go away. Set the shutter angle to 180 degree to introduce motion blur. And if you like, you can also use the rotation to blow more life into the animation. Now move the playhead to the moment where the logo covers the frame completely. And with the clip selected, press M on your keyboard to set a marker. Snap down that marker now in between the two clips and now your transition is ready. We got the elephant guys, but we can't open the zoo without a leopard. Oh, there it is. You wanna create a smooth transition just like a leopard between two clips and we're gonna use the ellipse tool for that. Draw a circle and hold down shift as you're doing that to, to make a perfect circle. Go to the window menu and open up the essential graphics panel. Center the circle that we've just created and in the appearance tab, set the color to white. Head over to the effects controls and expands the transform properties. Then move your playhead to the beginning of your clip and enable the stopwatch icon for the scale property. Now set the scale to zero, then move a few frames forward and increase the scale until the entire frame is white. Now don't forget to ease in the last keyframe to make the animation smooth. You know that leopard goes so fast, if it would stop immediately, then that's just not possible. It's, it's it's, it's physics, guys. Oh, wait a second, my elephant just escaped. I can't open a zoo without an elephant. All right, let's deal with that later. Let's go back to the leopard and copy and paste the shape and open up then the appearance tab. Set the fill color now to black. Go to the scale property and select both keyframes. Move them a bit up to the right. And now the animation looks like this. So we've added this kind of like offset to it. All right, duplicate the shape again. Change the color back to white. And again, offset the two keyframes a little bit further. Now keep doing this for as long long as you want. The more shapes you add, the longer the transition will be. Make sure that the last one is white though. This will make it better reveal. But Ranger Jordy, what do you mean with reveal? Well, we can use these black and white circles now for the transition. At the end of the transition, make a cut in the second video. Find the track matte key effect and drop it onto the video underneath the graphics layer. Head over to the effects controls and set the matte to the video tracker you've put your transition in. In my case, this will be video track three. Now make sure the composite is set to matte luma and that's it. We're using the black and white areas as a sort of stencil. And the great thing is that you can do this with any of such transition clips, by the way. So boom, in the cage you go, leopard. Three animals in, two more to go. Oh no, wait, my elephant escaped. Now making videos can be difficult sometimes, whether it's short form, live stream, product videos, travel vlogs, video consumption is still on the rise. So if you wanna create effective scroll stopping videos at scale, but don't really know where to start, then Storyblocks, a sponsor of today's video has a free course called The Beginner's Guide to Creating Video for You. Storyblocks in-house team of experts and a lineup of professional video creators like YC Imaging, Shannon Beveridge, and myself, Ranger Jordy, will teach you the fundamental steps to creating high quality video and getting it out in a world fast. No technical experience is needed. From concept to distribution, each step is broken down into short focused episodes with key tips so that you can jump right into what you want to learn or just binge watch them all in an hour. Of course, the link to that course can be found 
in the description down below. It's here on YouTube. But that's not all what Storyblocks has to offer. No, no, it's a huge jungle. You can download an unlimited selection of curated and professional content. Browse through more than a million 4K or HD stock assets. Like if you ever need smooth background animations, images, vectors, collections, green screen videos, they've got it all. Being able to enhance your stories visually is a must if you want your viewers to be more engaged with your content. In fact, I'm doing it right now. You can literally type in everything in the search bar and boom, everything you need is there. And just like the transition that we just created, you can find many more of such black and white animations. Really easy to use with the track mat effect as you've just learned. Check out Storyblocks right away and take back your creative control by clicking the first link in your description down below or you can also just go straight to storyblocks.com forward slash Premier Basics. And now let's go back to the Premier Jungle. There he is, my buffalo. Come here, Arnie. Arnie the buffalo is an old school effect and we can turn it into a transition. Now from the new item button, create an adjustment layer and drag it above your clips. And from the window menu on top, open up telemetric color panel. Head over to the basic correction tab and increase the contrast and decrease the whites just a little bit to make the image more flat. Then go to the creative tab. We're gonna use these controls to decrease the quality of the video. Decrease the sharpness to make the video less sharp, obviously. And with the vibrant slider, we're gonna take away some of the colors. Now go to the shadow tint wheel and push a little bit of magenta into the video. Finally, head over to the curve section and lower the curves like this. This will make the whites look more washed out. And click on the green curve and push it up a little bit. Finally, choose the blue curve and bring it down. That will give you this more yellow look. And we're also going to add a small vignette to the video to make the look even older. Now find the channel blur effect and drag it onto the adjustment layer. Increase the red blurriness until you get this chroma distortion effect. And now it's time to make a transition from this. Move your playheads to the frame in between the two clips. Head over to the effects controls and expand the basic correction tab. Increase the exposure to its max. Next click the stopwatch icon and go to the first frame of your video. Set the exposure to zero. Do the same thing at the end of your clip. And you also want to add keyframes in between to make the transition even flashier. And that's the Arnie transition. Welcome to my zoo, you fluffy buffalo. Now we still need to catch that fifth transition and find my elephant back. Wait, what? Is that a dancing rhino? We want to transition from the first dancer to the second. And to do that, duplicate the second clip by holding down Alt and dragging it one track higher. Then go to the first frame and right click it. And choose Add Frame Hold. Head over to the effects controls and click the pen tool. We're gonna mask out the dancer. You can also do this in Photoshop if you prefer that. But then drag the frame hold on top of the first clip. Now set a cut at every frame of the video and then delete every other clip. And that will create a flickering effect. Now to make this look like a transition, find the Gaussian blur and drop it onto the clip. Set the first one to the point where the dancer is barely visible. Then with the next clip, make the dancer a little bit more visible. Now keep doing that until he's completely visible in the last frame. And this looks awesome. And if you want, you can also add the brightness and contrast effect to the clips and just set the brightness to 100 and the contrast to minus 100. And copy the effect and select the other clips. Press Ctrl V on your keyboard to paste the effect and voila. Oh no! All my animals escaped! Oh, Premiere crashed. Damn it. Oh, never mind, there's a backup file. Oh, the elephant is in there too. Thank God. Now a great transition isn't going to make your videos just great yet. You need to have your editing right first. And the video here on my left will show you exactly how to do that. I've got a very cool trick in there. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay creative.